All right. Uh, we just uh, finished talking with the literature club about what to do next. It's tense. Uh, nobody else joined up at the uh, at the festival, which is kind of weird, which is kind of convenient. If, yeah. But uh, but I'm not complaining, although I am complaining the fact that Monica's sad about it. I yeah. am really upset over that. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. So next up. Soon after the discussion disperses, we over some more respective activities. I need some music to come back on, or I'm gonna be very unsettled. <laughs> Since I have really nothing better to do, I decided to see what everyone else was doing. Who should I hang out with? You know what to do. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, you know it! When I first met you, <laughs> didn't realize I decided to check up on Monica. I can't forget you! <laughs> Ah, I quietly approach her, but she quickly notices me. Oh, hi. Oh, Gip. I thought you'd want to hang out with Yuri again. After all, you guys are like two peas in a pot over there. Monica says teasingly, Ah, oh, you know I only have eyes for you, my sweetheart. You have pots for eyes. Wait, does Monica really think that Yuri and I are that close? I mean, we're just friends, but... I just thought I should check up on you first, that's all. Huh? Monica's expression quickly changes as she now looks at me with a curious gaze. I'll look at that blush. I mm. love it. <laughs> so you're so you're choosing to spend time with me and not any of the others? Yeah, the, yeah. the only thing that the that the original damn game didn't let me do is choose. I was going to um, say that. Yeah, I guess. Monica's eyes suddenly light up with what I can only describe as pure ecstasy. <gasps> yes, finally. <laughs> Oh, well, what do you want to do? Get out of here. Surprised by Monica's sudden burst of energy as she starts spouting on ideas for activities that we can do together. Yes! Yes! We go, we go, we go to the park and we go to the... <laughs> yes! It almost reminds me of Sherry's Sugar High from when she ate all of Natsuki's cupcakes at the festival. I've been actually meaning to read this big novel with someone for a while now. The Great Gatsby. I heard this novel is really fun to read when you have someone with you. Hmm. Mm. 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 I'm not sure whether to be amused or concerned at Monica's sudden excitement. I thought maybe we could just talk about how you're doing. Don't stop it, man. Damn, man, let it flow. Let it, let it flow. Catch, catch the signal, man. Yeah. <laughs> she wants you. She wants you, man. She wants you. You seem to have uh, had a rough day. Monica suddenly realizes how excitable she's, she's become, and she recomposes herself. No, don't, please don't. Please keep yourself happy and excited. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got kind of carried were there, didn't I? Were there. Sorry, Kip. I, just seeing you seems to have put me in a bare spirits. Ah, oh, we yes. did. I'm loving this mod already. <laughs> well, hey, glad I could help. Monica nods happily at me. I decide to break the ice. So, are you sure you're really okay with the club staying the same? I know how much expanding the club meant to you and everything, you know, with your imperialist dead desires and colonialism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with getting rid of everyone, I don't like. I see the joy of her face is upside. She then lets the pain sigh. It's just hard for me to wrap my mind around all this. I thought I did everything I could to make sure everything went smoothly. I mean, you didn't mess anyone up, so that's always better. Yeah. And you guys played your part perfectly, so I'm not blaming you or anyone else. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. I just feel like I messed up somewhere. You did nothing wrong. Yeah. This is the outcome that we all wanted. Yeah. Her eyes drift towards her feet. But to tell you the truth, I've just had a lot on my mind lately. Everything just kind of snowballed into the, that episode earlier. In last episode. In the, yeah, in the last episode, literally. And do you want to talk about it? Monica pauses for a moment, almost like, almost like she's inten internally debating if she wants to open up to me. She debates with herself. After about a moment, she breaks the silence. Why the sudden? Well, let's just say I had a big surprise plan for someone. Oh, for like a birthday party or something? Well, you have to be so damn skip. Yeah. You're just like MC. <laughs> Monica giggles at me. No, like silly. That's not that kind of surprise. Crazy. But it's something that I've been working on for quite a while now, and very recently something happened that I thought ruined everything. Hmm. But now it seems like can I still salvage the situation? Monica flashes a smile at me. Ah, yes. <laughs> I would love her like if I, I. I'm sure there has to be one like a gif of Monica just like winking on that pose. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I'm not sure what Monica's trying to get at here. Oh, come on. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Or who the surprise is supposed to be for. Or what this surprise is. Mm -hmm. It's a song. <laughs> but I, <laughs> it's but a song. I hope the, but I hope the things work out for her in the end. Let's call my too. reality. Me too, Gip. Me too. Yeah. Well, I hope it all works out for you, Monica. <laughs> Me too. Gip. I hope Me it too. all works out in the end. In I hope it all works out for you. <laughs> in the end. In the end. I know you can accomplish anything if you put mind to it. I know that she could get that she could accomplish her anything if she put her I've mind seen into it. it. I've seen it. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure sooner or later we'll get some more members, and I'm sure that your surprise will be great for whoever it's for. Whoever it's for. Mm, Monica blushes at my compliments. So smooth, Gip. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, you're right, Gip. Monica suddenly, lo suddenly looks at me in the eyes with a look of determination that's almost scary. I think it will work out in the end. That's ominous. That's not I ominous. I think it will work out in the end. It will. Yeah, I hope it does. Yeah! Monica flashes me her signature grin and I can't help but smile back at her. Me too, Gib. I have a signature grin. Me too. too. We stand there for a few moments before Monica suddenly calls out. Okay, everyone, palm time! Oh, I thought we, we could go. be able to uh, hang out with other people too. Alright, I can't wait to see what you wrote for today, Gib. <laughs> I must admit I'm not used to Monica showing me this much attention. Me either. Just be grateful. And I love it. Not that I mind it, anyway. Getting noticed by someone like Monica's a good thing. Ah, uh, hell yeah, mate. Grateful. You too, Monica. Can't wait to see what you wrote as well. Monica lets out a cute giggle. <laughs> Natsuki shoots a suspicious look. Are you two going to stand there and flirt all day? Or are you going to share your poem with us? Is poems. that an option, Natsuki? Because I would rather have the former than the latter. Flirt. Poems. Yes. Flirt, 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 flirt. poems. Flirt. flirt. The meme with the guy that has to push like the two buttons. <laughs> yeah. Flirt poems. <laughs> and, and, the, and the intense. And the, and the hand that and the, and the hand and the hand that uh there's a there's a version of the meme that has a hand that's pushing the two buttons sideways at the same time. <laughs> right, right. Sorry. See you in a bit, kid. Later, Monica. I go to my bag or to my poem. Oof. That was tense. Whoa. Uh, I, I like, like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I proceed to exchange my phone with the rest of the club members who all seem to generally like it. Serious reaction is about what I expected. She said that it's really good and gives me some of her usual encouragement. Though I could tell that she was really forcing a smile. I can't tell if her it's if it's her rain clouds acting up or if she's really getting over the rejection. I it doesn't look like the face of someone who's getting over it, honestly. I can definitely tell she was still she was still emotionally conflicted when I read her poem. It was about two friends, a boy and a girl who had known each other for a long time. When the girl finally confessed her feelings to the boy at his house, the boy hesitantly re rejected her and walked back into his house. What could she mean? Yeah, the the level of metaphor it's just beyond me. Yeah. I don't get it. It sounds to me it sounds to me like she's quoting Shakespeare. Yeah. Or some or maybe Faulkner. Maybe a maybe Lovecraft. Yeah. It could but oddly enough left the door open. Because you mm. never want because you cannot gently open the door if the door is already open. <laughs> Let's have an open door policy. Yes. You're not there are no closed doors in this house. So that no one has to open them gently. And no. if you open a door, it has to be very dramatically and aggressively. Yeah. You do. Reading Sayori's phone really made me feel guilty about what happened last Sunday. I wonder why. <laughs> I just hope boy, that we can put what happened behind us. Surprisingly, Yuri actually came to me first, saying she was curious to see what I wrote for today. Uh. Yuri's poem was in her usual style of being deep and sophisticated, but it was unusually depressing for what she usually writes about. Mm -hmm. huh. During our conversation, I noticed that she really struggled to make eye contact with me, either out of jealousy that I didn't spend time with her today, mm -hmm. sorry, uh. Uh, or the fact that last Sunday was still in her mind. It's another person choosing, choosing for me. <laughs> you know, like, I, I, I'm sorry, Yuri, but, you know, like... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Love is blind, after all. We'll see you later, baby. Not that I can blame her. But I think that I got at least some insight into what she's going through right now. Through my best, though, through my best interpretation of her poem, it seemed like it was about someone finally feeling wanted. But it wasn't sure if it was legitimate or if it was just false hope, like it usually has been. Mm. They're a bit too literal, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, literal, I mean, of course, it sounds stupid that I say, like, literal, because this is a, liter a literature club. So literally, it should be literal, what they say yeah. in the literature club. And, and maybe it's not that the poems are literal, but MC is getting better at reading. Gip is getting better at... Yeah, Gip is MC 2.0. This crispy bacon ain't got, ain't got shit. Yeah, he, he gangsta. Natsuki gave me her usual suggestion of not being too wordy, but she really struggled to make eye contact with me as her mind was elsewhere. While I've always struggled to understand her, her poem may, might have given me some insight into what she's going through. If she mentions her dad, I swear to god. Uh. Natsuki's poem was about a girl who had a seemingly good friend group. But one day, the group added, an added another member, <laughs> and the new member spent time with about everyone else. Except her. Except uh. for her. <laughs> called it. You, you called it. You called it. And they wanted to get to know the new person because she found him interesting. Interesting. But it just never worked out, leaving the person feeling alone and unwanted. Sounds too real. And she reacts according to the poem. <laughs> yeah, she was not. She was actually narrating. It was uh, <laughs> sound poetry. Monica's poem was in her usual freeform style. It wasn't even in a sheet of paper. Huh? <laughs> it was. It was a prompt. <laughs> it was a text box that flashed inside of my face. What the? <laughs> I didn't really understand the meaning behind it, as usual. As usual. But from my best interpretation of her poem, it's about trying to overcome an unknown obstacle. Hmm. In order to be with someone. Hmm. I don't think I'll ever understand her poems unless she tells me. Dance. <laughs> huh. I wonder if maybe we should ask a bit more about it. We should. And, uh, no. and spend some time with Monica, you know what I mean? Yeah. Still, her poem was very inspiring and relatable. Hashtag relatable. Relatable. I don't understand it, but it's relatable. It's relatable. <laughs> Monica is for some reason really. Monica for some reason really liked my poem more than usual. More than usual. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. She even told me it was one of my best poems to date. I mean, I think at this point, Doki Doki on Encore, it's defining itself as as fan service. Yes, this is pure fan service. This is just. This is just dopamine flowing through my brain. Very close to fan service. Ah, yeah. They said they, they say they want a closure for the original story, and I'm getting some closure. All right, I'm liking where this is going. Uh, what if I finish saying Monica unexpectedly asked me if she could keep my poem? It's not. Ah! sorry. It's closing up like not like Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I won't open that kind of warm, especially mostly because I don't care, but also because I know like it's a very contested topic. Yeah. Well, yeah, she could keep my poem. Yeah, fuck Game of Thrones. You want to keep my kid? You want to keep my, my poem, man? Normally, I would think it's weird, especially coming from a. Uh, oh no. This is my no. Wait. The cutest, most talented, and clearly. Uh, ah, not, not again. Okay, everyone. I think we'll end off today's meeting on a high note. Club meeting tomorrow, same place, same time. Again. Uh, don't be getting not crazy all, all over the place, man. Someone's uh, blocking us again. Come on, I, I already told you. I, I I love you. I said fan service. I wanted the fan service. I guess they I guess they were right. they they're at least as, as self aware. They knew they they knew it was getting a little bit too great. <laughs> awesome! I've missed our meeting so much. It's definitely nice to fall back into our routine. We begin cleaning up the room all the while discussing ideas for what we can do to tomorrow's meeting. As I finish packing my things, I feel a tap on my shoulder. Boop. Monica or Sayori? I say Sayori. Monica. Hey, Gib! Damn it, I should, I should have bet something. <laughs> <laughs> yep, let's go. Sayori and I say goodbye to the others as we exit the club room and begin our work home. <laughs> oh my god. The walk is relatively peaceful, with just p peaceful, not peaceful. <laughs> with only the occasional bits of small talk filling the silence. And some background music, I don't know why it sounds... Yeah, but it's very cheery, yeah. and I like it. Well, at least it was peaceful at first. Peaceful at first? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm still all starstruck because Monica was liking me, alright? And, and it all went to shit. And then See, it started getting fun, weird. Yep. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. I mean, no, it, it was. It was carried towards the end when Monica started talking like an evil text. But you know, I, I imagine that like some PA announcer, like this is Monica, the cutest and the girliest. Like some sort of like emergency broadcast, like, <laughs> yeah, recorded voice. <laughs> oh man, that would have been so disturbing if I had like that alarm. It's, yeah. It was nice to be back with everyone. It's almost like it's, I almost felt like it, like I was at home again. Like a year ago, nothing happened. Same. 
The festival felt like it was forever ago. It was just like a week. Mm. And I feel like I haven't... Oh, sorry. And I feel like I haven't seen you in forever either. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on. It's not like it's been that long. Besides, it's not like things have changed that much since then, right? What? Oh, God. Sherry gives me a paid look. The music stops. <laughs> I get scared. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> I should not have brought it like that, you mouthy bastard! Why? You're not helping anyone! Why? As I see her eyes fill up with tears, I quickly try to rephrase what I just said. What did he say, really? I don't... I, I mean, it's not like I had thought that any of this would happen. I, lately, I feel like I've been caught off guard by all sorts of surprises. It seems that through my own carelessness, I got her in a bad state of mind. Uh -huh. Oh, really? I know we care about Monica, but... Oh, come on, no, you, ha you have to protect, you have to protect the cinnamon Senor. bun. So Yuri blankly stares off into the direction we're heading. Like, the fact that I'm so obsessed with Monica doesn't mean that I just flip off any other any other of the three girls. Yeah. I want them to be happy, too. We we protect. Yes, we have to protect, protect them all. So Yuri blankly stares off into the, into the direction we're heading. Ma- what? Where <laughs> Monica sighs deeply, trying to steady her breath. Where's Monica? She's hiding from a bush, looking at us <laughs> at the distance. <laughs> uh, oh all right. Me and my big mouth. Mon but 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 the rest of our walk is filled with uncomfortable but silence. And now that Mon I realize that Monica's staring, I can concentrate. Yeah. Where was Monica? Sayori so hasn't even looked 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 at me since my careless comment. My and careless I haven't tried comment. And I haven't tried saying anything else out of fear of making things worse. Yeah, that's maybe for the better. Yeah. After several months of complete and utter silence, we finally reach our houses. So, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Sayuri looks dejectedly towards her house as if she didn't want to go home. I don't like it when there's no music, man. I really, mm. I really don't. It's tense. Even more tense. I try one last time to undo my mistake. Nope, oh, hang on. Uh, uh. There we go. There you go. Okay. Sorry, look, you know, if you want to ever hang out or talk about anything, just say the word. The word. bird is the word. <laughs> I enjoy spending time with you. I don't hate you or anything like that. Spending well, I time might as with you. Well, I might as well be making things worse at this point. I can't start to see tears well up in Sarah's eyes. No! No. Look, I promise you that nothing would ever change between us and things would be just as they'd always been. <laughs> like like uh, automated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm really panicking. <laughs> I don't want her to cry. Sayori looks back and forth between me and her house. I have the feeling that she isn't listening to me. Sayori? Mm. Sayori is not back into reality. Oh, there goes ra gravity. Into, my, into our reality. <laughs> there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity choked. Oh. Uh, sorry, Gip. I must have been spacing out again. Sayori flashes me her signature grin and her different signature grin. Not to be not to be mistaken with Monica's signature grin. Yeah. <laughs> but I can tell it's not genuine. It's a fake grin. So then it's not signature. Is everything okay, Sayori? Sayori's grin instantly disappears and reverts back to how she was just a moment ago. Now don't cry! Don't you cry tonight. I still love you, baby. Sayori? It's n nothing. Look, I gotta go. Bye. Sayori runs off and hastily enters her house. I can hear the door slam shut as Mia no. enters. No! Open door no, policy! No, 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 I don't Please. need I won't go in there because then I'll have to gently open the door and I don't want to do it. Maybe we should gently open the door next time. Ah, yeah, everything. Why does it always have to end on such a weird note, man? Alright, see you next time. <laughs>